Hey YouTube, it's Tams the Wicked Witch. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I just thought today I'd do a small video, a um, bit like a five minute witchy tips video, which would probably be about 10 minutes. So I don't know why I call them five minute witchy tips. I never, I don't think I've ever made one that was five minutes. But I thought I'd show you my money altar and what, what you can do to like set one up in your home and start bringing in some money luck and some abundance for 2022. So my... My money altar is basically just set up on a shelf, but it's mixed at the sides of other stuff. So anybody coming in, this is my dog mucking around, sorry. Anybody coming in um, to my house doesn't know what it is. You know, it just looks like a really lovely shelf with pagan bits and pieces on it and animals and toadstools and things like that. But the money altar is actually in the middle. It's in the centre and it literally is behind. So... This area here is my money altar and that's my candle that I use for my money, for my money luck and money spells. And if there's, you know, you need to bring in some money for something, that's the candle I use. Um, and everything else is kind of related to the money altar. And then at the sides are all my kind of animals and my mushrooms and all my kind of things like that. And it's all very much based around Canunos. The god Kanunos, who is an abundance god of abundance and um, amongst other things but yes yeah, so that's how i've set mine up and i'm going to just give you a few tips just to show you what i've done and also just for yourselves like if you haven't set one up yet it's really really good and there's nothing greedy about it so don't think that by setting this up that you're being greedy it's nothing to do with that this is not going to make you win the lottery you know by monday you're not going to be a millionaire <laughs> it literally is to help you live and pay your you know to be able to pay your bills pay your mortgage pay your car to be able to do the things you need to do and sometimes when we do need a little bit of help this is where the money order comes in um and you know if you if you look after your money order and you look after this you know the whole the whole order itself if you look after it and you treat it good and you put it in the right place in your house and you give to it and i'll tell you about that in a minute it really 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 can bring in quite a lot of wealth to you again you're not going to be a millionaire win the lottery you might do but that won't probably be because of this but it's it's just a really really good way to keep money flowing so i'm going to try and show you without knocking everything i'm just i'm not going to go too in depth but if you can see as we flip up in the middle is my money altar and you can see Kanunos and you can see a horned god Kanunos and a um, little statue at the front. And there's there's lots of crystals and there's a green candle over here in front of the fairy. And then there's a deer skull um, as well. So let's just put that back there because I don't have one of those cool dongly doodah things that you put on your phone to move it around. So hopefully you can see it again. So... We've got Kanunos, we've got antlers behind. This is just some fake ivy. And then all the crystals and things are behind. This is a big candle holder, Horned God candle holder. It's full of money. Underneath it are notes. Underneath here are our wage slips. Um, obviously, I lost my job. So as soon as I am bringing back in money, my my obviously my pay slip will be going under there as well we have deer skulls all of this is relevant to canunos we have a green green candle and then to the sides are all birds and animals um there's another canunos and um there's the Hel ellen of the ways is over here because she's like the whole goddess i put her on that side so it balances um and there's more money there's hairs and all sorts of things. So it kind of looks really like lovely and pagan and natural nature. But the money, the bit in the middle is my money altar. And it faces, it faces the main walk in. So when you walk through my house, you walk into this room and it faces. So you're walking bang into it. And that's what uh, a money altar should be central. If you can have it in a hallway when you walk through the door and also when you're going out and in, fabulous. But my hallway is so small no way could i do that so yeah this for us is the most central place to have as you come into the home so on your altar you always want to have green items obviously because green is associated with the color of money isn't it um it's always you know it's always been green colored on notes and stuff especially in dollars and stuff 
I think a lot of our UK money now is like purple and things like that. I think five is a green, I can't remember, but or blue. But green was always associated with the you know with money. So um you want greenery. I've got ivy, it's not even real, it's just plastic because it looks cute, but under there is all the crystals set out in their order. So um I've got citrine, I've got green aventurine, I've got jade, I've got tiger's eye, I've got lapis lazuli or lapis lazuli um i actually call it lapis lazuli but a lot of people call it lazuli i don't know why um we've got some rose quartz on there to bring a bit of love to the altar um obviously canunos has got these i'm just going to show you these they're actual lumps of quartz but they looked to me like diamonds so because it looked like diamonds i thought it'd be quite cool so he has those and there's also a big handful of all little pieces of pyrite or false gold so that's kind of representing gold um and all of those crystals are abundance that you know i'm not going to go for each crystal i have done some crystal videos and i'll be doing some more but they are all for money success abundance things like that i mean i have a base a bracelet here made of green aventurine which is wrapped around this um this is like a little uh stash pot or trinket holder which is full of green aventurine there's jade I also have some very old, very old, you know, coins from hundreds of years ago on here as well. Um, I have amethyst on here as well. Um, and obviously everything else is kind of animal related. So um, you can put notes around the candle. You could photocopy back, you know, money and put it around your candle if you wanted to be quite elaborate, have bright greens and all things like that. But what I try and do is I sage, I sage the area. I always light, um, I light an incense, um, an incense that I use for Canunos. If you wanted a, like, you know, whatever incense suits you really. I know people say, well, some are for this and some are for that. But I think if you work with gods and goddesses and you use incense that works for you, then use it. Um, so I, you know, I always light the incense because my altar is underneath, so it goes up over the altar. I always put coin on there. It might only be twos and three, you know, two pays and, um, you know, the odd pound coins on there. It doesn't have to be like, um, you know, hundreds of pounds, but you're just giving little offerings, offerings of money and asking nicely, please, you know, keep the money flowing. It's the point of the whole altar. A lot of people have frogs on their altar. They have Buddha on their altar. Um, they have other goddesses and go gods of prosperity on their altar. But for me, it's Kanunos and it always has been. Um, he has his bag of coins. He has actually in the statue, he's holding a bag of coins. Um, he also has a bag of coins at the back. It's like a little fake leather pouch, supposed to look like his bag. Um, and yeah, it's uh, I, when I set up the altar, it was in a different area. Um, and when we got this nice shelf that my husband made out of a scaffold plank, um, we moved it. So I saged it all, cleaned it, and I redid it all again. And basically, I wrote, you know, just something that I'd wrote, um, you know, just some nice words that I recited as we set it back up after we'd saged it, um, just basically protecting finances, protecting money, protecting our jobs. Obviously, I lost my job after COVID um, lockdown and things like, you can't help. There's always going to be things that happen. The altar's not going to stop things happening, but it keeps it flowing, you know. Um, we've just bought a new car, so we had to have a new car. We've bought a new car, and I always associate being able to pay for stuff and having the money or, you know, having been lucky enough to have sold something and made some good money. Like that to me is all success in money and having the money flowing. And that's where your money altar comes in. So anything you wish to put on it, whether you want to put frogs on it and other animals on it, um, lucky hares. Um, you know, people have lucky rabbit's foot. So um, I don't really want a lucky rabbit's foot on mine. I don't like things like that. I only like, I don't. The only taxidermy I would have is Victorian, really old antique, because to me they didn't know any better. And um, you're, I'd feel like I was rescuing the, I feel like I was rescuing it, but I don't like new taxidermy. Um, although I do have lots of bones, so people could say, well, that's ridiculous, because um, you've got bones everywhere, but they've all been found. We've found them on the floor. We haven't killed anything. I do think with some of this stuff on eBay, people are killing those things and stuffing them. So I'm a bit funny about things like that. So 
Um, but yeah, people would have a lucky rabbit's foot. There's all sorts of things. Something that you might brings luck to you might not be for somebody else. You know, if you've got something that's lucky, a lucky coin, a lucky chain, lucky ring, whatever it is, put it on the money order. If you're trying to get some finances together to sort something out, I don't know, maybe you want to go on holiday or well, perhaps not in COVID, but, um, you know, um, perhaps if you want to go and do something um, or you need a new vehicle or you want to buy a new mountain bike or you want to buy this, that or the other, um, you know, whatever it is, or if it's something important, you know, like paying a bill or the mortgage has gone up, you know, keep doing your money order because it does keep the money flowing. And trust me, you'll be really, I tell you what, if you haven't set one up, set one up and tell me in a month's time if you haven't had good luck with it. I'll be shocked. I'll be shocked if you haven't because really, really, really fantastic. Um, it's not being greedy. It's being savvy and sensible. You know, if you use witchcraft properly, which I'm the world's worst sometimes, especially with diets and stuff. I, you know, I am trying this year, though, um, to get sorted. But, yeah, use it properly and wisely and, you know, use witchcraft um, how it should be used. And you'll find that abundance and prosperity and all kinds of good things can come to you. And, you know, that's how it works. So I hope this video is useful to you. If you've got any um, any ideas that perhaps I haven't gone over. Um, oh. I forgot something put on your money altar something from your work so I've taken them off but I had two massive hag stones that I found on site where I worked obviously I don't work there now so I took them off I didn't get rid of them because they're massive hag stones but I took them off and used them somewhere else um we've got some stuff on here from my husband's work it doesn't matter what it is you know if you work in an office and you've got like I don't know something can just anything now don't steal something but you know if there's stones outside the building stones are always great because they they hang on to stuff so pick them up bring them home put them on the money or that's representing your you know i tell you what else is really good as well if you write down things that you would like it's not greedy if you write down things that you would like keep that on the altar and you can tick them off as you get them because that's another thing it's you know it, it's, it's pairing up it's pairing up put your intentions into that money or and you'll find that you'll get through, you'll get to pay your stuff, or if you want something new, new tattoo, new car, new new house, whatever it is, you'll find that it will all it will all come together and you'll pull it off. And that is all because you've got a money order. It is absolutely brilliant. And I wouldn't be without it. Um you can have more than one if you wish. If you um perhaps perhaps you'd like one for Ganesh. The um you know, a lot of people have Ganesh and they have money and sweets for him. Um, he likes those conch shells and things like that. I did have a small Ganesh set up, but it's so small in here. It's, you know, I've had to take that down. But Kanunos is there, as always, with the money order, the main money order. So, yeah, I hope you find this interesting. Any ideas that I didn't go over, please comment below. Because I like hearing other people's things that they do. I think it's interesting. I like to know. Um, or if you've got any kind of incense or other crystals that you use to attract the money um always check out what some gods and goddesses like and what they don't just remember if you're doing it with the fae or the fairy folk be careful what you use but you need to check that out i'm not an expert well, i'm not an expert on anything but i'm not an expert on fairy so i'm not going to go there i've got fairies on my altar but i don't work with fairy on this altar this is kanunos this is all kanunos on this altar um and the animal spirits that represent with him so yeah Hope you found it interesting and I will see you all very soon. Please like, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you to my new subscribers. Please share and comment. It really helps get the video moving around. Um, apologies for the lie and all the piles of stuff, but I just did a horror haul um, and I've still got bits everywhere. So, yeah, I hope to see you all very soon. Thank you for watching and taking the time to watch my video today. I hope it was um, interesting and useful to you. Let me know how you get on. Speak to you soon. Bye.